Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at week two NFL predictions. Last week, if you guys haven't go check that, that those predictions, please go check those out. I did pretty decent. I went eight and seven, a uh, positive record, but barely. There's a bunch of upsets week one, uh, which I will talk about during this video, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I'm going to give you my week two NFL predictions. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think is going to happen in each game and see if I'm right. Let's get right into it. First up, we got our Thursday night game, the Chargers going into Arrowhead Stadium and facing the Chiefs. This game is going to be very, very good. Two AFC West rivals, two guys that came off a 1-0 start. I believe this game is going to be very, very close. But I have a little bit of an upset, and I do have the Los Angeles Chargers going into Arrowhead Stadium and beating the Chiefs. I just think um, the Chargers have a bit more depth on their roster, and all of the Chiefs looked really, really good week one. The Chargers came off with a decent win, and the Chiefs are playing the Cardinals, which aren't as good as the Raiders. Um, uh, but overall, I mean, I think um, the Chiefs and Chargers, it's going to be a very, very good game. I think it's going to be a bit more high scoring, and I think it's going to come, come down to a, a shootout. I have the game being 31 to 27. Yeah, I heard that right. It's a high scoring game. 31 to 27. I have it being a very, very high scoring game. I think Austin Eckler is going to rush for over 80 yards, receive for over 70 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. I think Justin Herbert will have a big game with four passing touchdowns. And I think we're going to see uh, Williams get a deep catch for over 60 yards. For the Chiefs, I have Travis Kelsey getting two touchdowns. I have Mahomes rushing for a touchdown. But I have it not being quite enough to beat the Chargers. I do have the Chargers winning in this game. The next game, we got the Ravens and the Dolphins. Ooh, this game's going to be a good one. Again, two 1-0 teams. Two teams that started off good. Both two teams that it, uh, well, we will have to see how they do. But you got to like them. Um, I think it's going to be a very, very good game. Who I have winning? I do have the Baltimore Ravens winning this game. I just think um, Dolphins weren't that great. Um, I guess the Patriots, like, they, they won. Defense was more impressive than their offense. That's what I will say. So, overall, yeah, I, I, ha, I have um, the Ravens winning. I think the Ravens' defense is going to show the Dolphins' offense up. And I think this is actually going to be a pretty lower-scoring game. But yet a pretty dominating game. I this game being twenty one to ten, the Ravens take it home. Um, I think Mark Andrews is gonna have one touchdown. I think Rashad Bateman is gonna have a touchdown. I think Lamar Jackson's gonna rush for a touchdown. And I think Lamar Jackson's gonna have a big game. I think the Dolphins are gonna get shut down. I think two at throws for two picks and a forced fumble. I think the Ravens defense comes up. I think Marlon Humphrey Gets a big pick at the end of the game, and that's what's going to seal it as the Ravens go at home and take down the Dolphins. Uh, we have, now we have the Cleveland Browns and the Jets. I told you guys yesterday. Sorry, I told you guys last time. So far, actually, okay, I first of all, I will go back in my picks and just tell you what went wrong. So I guess all these ones are right. So I, I thought the Patriots were going to win. I will not lie to you. I thought they were going to win. But Dolphins took it home. Good job for them. Uh, I got these two picks as well. I told you guys, though, the Browns are going to beat the Jets. Nicole Brissett's not that bad of a backup quarterback. And I have them going back-to-back. And Browns are going to go to 2-0. I have them beating the Jets. A pretty big score, 24-3. to Yeah, that's right. Jets only scored three points. Browns win 24-3. to I think it's a big game. From Nick Chubb rushing for over 150 yards and getting at least one touchdown. I think Kareem Hunt will have a receiving touchdown. And I think the Browns <coughs> the Browns overall will just explode the Jets. I, I don't think the Jets are going to even stand a chance. I think the defense is going to show up. And I think the Browns take it home pretty easily. Um... Yeah, as well for the Jets, not a bad week last week. I feel like he kind of held his own a little bit against the Ravens until the end of the game, but still, Brown's going to take it home. Lions and Commanders, the game was pretty much also 50-50 last week. The Commanders, I picked the Jags. 
close game, but yeah, Commanders aren't taking it. Um, in this week, it's pretty much fifty fifty. But I do have the Lions taking this one, even though they lost last week. Very very close game to the Eagles, and I do have the second one. I think big game from DeAndre Swift and Amon or St. Brown's gonna have a good game. <coughs> Jared Goff is gonna have an underrated really good game. I think it's gonna be a very very close game. I think it's gonna be twenty four to twenty one. The Lions take it barely. They edge out the Commanders. <coughs> Sorry for the cough, guys. I got a little bit of a sore throat. Um, we have the Colts going into the Jaguars. I I know the Colts had a rough performance last time, but I I gotta trust the Colts, man. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, the Colts are just too good to not li- to not lose again to the Jags. I thought the Jaguars did decent last week. Colts are just going to show up. I think Michael Pittman's going to have a big game. I think John Taylor's going to have a big game. And the Colts overly, and I know this is a lesson, but it's a big game. 38-10 to 10. <coughs> Colts. <coughs> got two one zero teams, the Bucks and the Saints going at it. Again, this one's going to be pretty quick. I have the Bucks winning this game. I don't think the Saints are going to be able to catch up. I think it's going to be a bit of a closer game. Even though the Saints have kind of the Bucks number, I still think that the Bucks are going to win. Um, I have the score being a little bit closer, 27-21, to 21, but I do have the Bucks winning. I think a big game from Mike Evans, uh, a good solid game from Tom Brady, and an underrated game from Leonard Fournette. Saints do decent. James Wilson has a decent game, but it's not enough. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the cough, guys, again. It's not COVID. I already tested. It's not COVID. I, it's just... Uh... All right, we got the Panthers and the Giants. This can be a good game. Uh, Panthers struggled last week I guess the Browns, but they could bounce back. But I do have the Giants winning and going 2-0 to start the year. I'm not a Giants fan, but I will say the Giants are going to win this game. They showed off what they can do against the Titans. I think they'll do it again against the Panthers. I see a big game from Saquon Barkley. Again, uh, Saquon Barkley's really impressed me. And I think the Giants actually have a pretty solid game. 28-17. to 17. The Giants win the game. I think Danny Dimes throws a couple of dimes. And I think the Giants win. I had way too much hype for the Patriots last week. I won't lie. So going into the Steelers Stadium, Steelers look really, really good. Especially with Mac Jones being a little bit injury prone right now. I'm taking the Steelers. Their defense really, really showed up. And even with TJ Watt, unfortunately going down to a peck injury, I still see the Steelers coming in and walking it away with a little bit of a low scoring game, 17 to 10. <coughs> but Steelers are obviously going to win. Uh, they're just, they're just a really good team this year. Um, I think they're going to be an underrated team. And we'll see what happens. But I think they're going to go 2-0. Falcons and Rams. Ooh, this is going to be a good game. Ugh, what am I saying? Rams are going to crush them 42-3. to three. Literally a blowout. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously game. 42-10. to 10. Rams are still going to crush them. I think the Rams come back with a big bounce back game. I think Cooper Cup goes for a receiving total. Four touchdowns in 180 yards. <coughs> Crazy game from Cooper Cup. And he carries the Rams... As Stafford throws for five touchdowns, Rams win 42-10. to 10. Blowout, Rams get back on the, the train, the hype train, and they're going to go back to their Super Bowl contending ways. My 49ers are going against the Seahawks. I, I know Seahawks look good. I'm trusting my Niners. I'm trusting them. A fluke game. Well, I wouldn't say fluke. They play terrible against the Bears. Surely we cannot lose twice against the Seahawks. I'm going with the Niners, but I don't have as much confidence. I'm going to say 24-20 Niners win. I think a, a better game from Trey Lance, and I think Jeff Wilson Jr. has a rushing touchdown. Please, Niners. Please, Niners, do not let me down. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry, guys, a lot. Bengals going into the Cowboys. Um... This game could be a little bit interesting here. Bengals, I, I, you know what? This game's going to be not that hard to pick from. Bengals struggle, but I don't think they're going to struggle enough. Bengals take this game against the Cowboys. See, uh, Dak Prescott's injured. 
Uh, they got a backup quarterback and like that Cooper Rush guy. I forget his name. That might be his name. But I think the Bengals come back with a big game. I think Joey Burrow. I said Joey Burrow. Uh, Joe Burrow throws for four touchdowns in a big win, thirty-five to seventeen over the Cowboys. We got the Texans and the Broncos. This game's gonna be good. Um, again, Broncos need a big win. Texans didn't even look that bad, but I do have the Broncos winning this game. Um, again, just a lot of games where it's a pretty lopsided. I think the Broncos, Russell Wilson held a big game, over three touchdowns. And Javante Williams rushed for one touchdown and over 100 yards. <coughs> Broncos are going to have a big game, though. I do see the Broncos winning this game. Cardinals and Raiders. Uh, I think the Raiders have a better roster, but I'm going to take the opposite here and go with the Cardinals. Uh, I don't want the Cardinals to win, but I think the Cardinals will win. Um, I think they had an underrated game against the Chiefs, and I think their defense will improve, and I think it'll be a very, very close game. Pretty high-scoring game as well, 31-28, to but I do see the Cardinals squeaking out the Ra- Raiders in this game. Big game from James Conner, and Kyler Murray rushes for a touchdown. I think just overall, Cardinals barely squeak in and take the W. Upset. Bears and Packers, I, I, again, I, I look at the records. I, I gotta go with the Packers. Um, J- Bears got a lucky win. Packers did not look good, but I just don't see them losing twice. Aaron Rodgers going to have a big game, three touchdowns and over 300 yards with zero picks. Uh, Packers are going to win 26-16. to 16. We got our Monday night games. We got the Titans and the Bills. Big games. I do have the Bills winning as well. It's 2-0 and for the Bills. Titans did not look good against the Giants, and I think with the Bills now coming in, who looks really, really good against the Rams, Bills are taking this one home. Pretty big W, 41-12. to 12. <coughs> uh, Yeah, Bills just overly crushing them. Josh Allen throws for four touchdowns and rushes for two. Huge, huge game for the Bills, and the Bills are going to walk home and win. Vikings and Eagles. This is a very, very good game. I do a little bit of an upset compared to like what everyone thinks. I'm going with the Eagles on this one. I like I think the Vikings played very, very well last game, but you have to realize that the Packers that they, they they're trying to build a better team. And although I really, really like the Vikings, I think they will do well this year. I like the Eagles a little bit better. I think Jalen Hurts is gonna rush for two touchdowns and throw for uh, 250 yards. Um, I think Eagles are going to have a big, big game. How about a high-scoring game again? 35-31. to 31. Eagles take it home in the last Monday night game. I hope you guys like these predictions. If you guys disagree with me at all, go comment it down below. That's totally okay with me. I can take the field back, feedback. If you guys like these uh, week two predictions, if you like, like all the predictions, please leave a like and subscribe. I do my best to post every single day. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm sorry for the cough and peace.